Welcome to my new video on German pronunciation part 1, vowels. Here you see the vowels. First of all, I'm very sorry that you haven't heard from me for such a long time. It was incredibly busy and I really hope that I will be able to update the channel now um, more often and I'm happy that you're still here with me, that you're still practicing German. Thank you for all your reviews, all your comments and yeah, thank you for still watching. I have one new thing and I hope you like it, so please give me a feedback. I have a small uh, flip book um, and so in every video you will kind of see the different steps you are um, so that you kind of know when it's finished, when you're done. So as soon as you're done you have the whole grammar castle. And make a guess and write me which castle is that. Okay, but now we really start. Um, yeah, and of course, don't forget to visit my uh, page, my blog, for more information for the PDF. Okay. The first thing you should know uh, when it comes to pronunciation, your tongue is a muscle. Uh, that sounds a bit strange but it's actually all about exercising you really need to exercise and you need to kind of pretend that you're an actor or an actress and don't feel shy about uh, doing the pronunciation then what is very important uh, when your mother language differs greatly from German, you have to move your lips. So um, stand in front of a mirror and watch yourself. And if you really move your lips, um, then it's then it's good. Then you do it correctly. And if you're kind of tired practicing German, then just pretend you're practicing your uh, lips. Um, it's better for kissing as well. Okay, let's go on and start information uh, this is not this is only for uh, those among you who are studying linguistics um, you have here all the phonetics of German and um, I will give you uh, these uh, special notation also in the PDF and you have uh, the direct links to Wikipedia you can look it up um, and just for your information, you have here the vowels U and O that are um, pronounced in the back, but that actually meaning it's near to your lips, whereas um, in the front is E, it's more at the back of your tongue. And this is this direction. This direction is about your mouth, whether it's closed or open. So for an A, ah, Ah, you have a very open mouth, whereas for an uh, U, for example, it's closed. But yeah, don't worry about this, uh, just for those who study linguistics. Now we start, already done a bit. Ah, ah is the first sound and we have two different kind of A's, a long one and a short one. The written possibilities of the long one are A, A, HA and A, A. Meaning when you see A, HA, you really kind of don't worry about the H it's actually just a double A, a long A. So we will practice that and really now it's really important that you speak with me, that you uh, also stop the video and repeat. I also give you the English translation, but that's really not um, important. Um, okay, so please repeat. Abend. Zahl, Start, again, Abend, Zahl, Start, now the short one, 
Stadt. Let's repeat this one and this one. Stadt, Stadt. Okay, and the next one. I. Again, we have long and short. And here you have all the different notations for a long E. So maybe you ask why do we sometimes have E H or E I um I E, sorry. <laughs> um this is about the history of the different words. It's confusing and there is no deeper sense. Um at least no one that is important for you. Okay, so let's have examples. Wir, ihr, vier, er sieht. What is important here? You really, the IE, this is really confusing for a lot of people. And it's really only an E, a long E. When we have, for example, vier, you might kind of, you might hear an A ah sound. But this is because of the R. The R, and we will see that in another video, is pronounced as an E, uh, vier. But this part is really vier. So never ever pronounce the E or in German E after an I. Then the short one, I. I. Bitte ist. So this is a short one. You have now seen that we make a difference between long and short vowels, and this is so important because. Um, it's not done in every language and there is uh, really a difference in meaning. We had the example Stadt and Stadt, so state and city, Stadt and Stadt. So you really have to be aware of the long vowels and take your time to pronounce them. When you're speaking German, you don't have to speak fast. So, when you see at the castle, we are already building our base. It's going on. O. Again, long and short. O and O. Here is the notation. Hose. Wohnen. Boot. And please repeat with me again. Hose. Wohnen. Boot. And the short one. Hoffen. Kommen. Let's repeat it all again. Hose. Wohnen. Boot. Hoffen. Kommen. And the next one. U. The long one and the short one. U. Buchen. Mutter. Lustig. Once again. Buchen. Mutter. Lustig. So, now it's a bit more complex. We have the E and the E sound. So here, first, what you already know, the difference between E and E. So, long and short. Here the notation of the long E. You already know it. H or double con double vowel. Lesen. Sehr. T. Short one. Gern. Bett. Helfen. Once again. Lesen. Sehr. T. Gern. Bett. Helfen. Now we come to the E, and here it's 
something is happening in German that is a bit strange. Normally you pronounce it as an E. Or you also call it, um, just to be sure, A umlaut. Umlaut meaning the two dots. But actually, when you really listen to people how they pronounce it, they don't make a difference. It's kind of a long E or E. So we have two possibilities. Bear, where you really have an E, but that is kind of people in Switzerland would use it, um, or actors on a stage, but usually people say Bear. So you see, it's kind of this one. Bear, Genen, Käse. So you can really stick to this one because this is the E people are using or most people are using. But of course, Germany and Austria and Switzerland, they have a lot of dialects and depending on the area you are, the vowels can really change. I'm here using a high German, so I think you can stick to what I'm what you're learning here. Then you also you have the last one, and this is um when we have unstressed syllabus. We we come to the stressing, we will see that later, but th these are like uh, very small syllables, meaning parts of the words or prefixes, prefixes, um, and this is something you will notice while learning are like small parts of the word that kind of, yeah, have no real meaning. They are prefixes, so before the word, and you will feel more and more comfortable with them. And also for the endings. For the endings, we have endings is something like en, so all verbs, and on en, um, they have a special pronunciation. And it's a very, very short e. Uh, bitte, Geschwister. So here we actually have it two times. G, e. Uh. So once again, Geschwister, lesen. Lesen. Here, what also happens to this, you nearly can't hear it anymore. Lesen or lesen, lesen, lesen. So, yeah, you see it's, the I is really, it's a very, very uh, short sound. So we um, read the whole list again. Lesen. Sehr, Tee, Gern, Bett, Helfen, Bär, Genen, Käse, Bitte, Geschwister, Lesen. Maybe you have noticed that it's better just to hear and to follow what I'm saying than to actually read. When you're reading, your mind tells you to s pronounce it differently. Like to pronounce here a real E, to pronounce here an R. But please don't do that. Follow what I'm saying and not what you're reading. So, now you really have done a huge... And you're really nearly done with the vowels. The most important part is already done. Go to part two and please don't forget to practice. So repeat the video. Ask me if you have any questions. I try to help you. Um, yeah, and have fun learning German. Last but not least, my page. And yeah, I really appreciate all your comments, all your sharing. It helps me going on. It helps me to work in the evening. Um, thank you very much. And cheers.